So I'd like to keep on going through the toolbar and let's look at, we've talked about the switch mode function, which is this uh, sort of recycling icon. And next, I'd like to talk about the screen annotation icon. It looks a little bit like this. So I'm going to go into Flowworks and I'm going to click this screen annotation button. It looks a little bit like one of those fancy Macs that had the round base before. And you click that and in, there's a little bit of a flashing the screen and the next thing you know it looks like you're right at an application but a couple of things you'll notice in the upper, upper right hand corner you have this stamp of the time and the date and you have slide of slide however but what's interesting is you think okay this is a picture but in reality we can still keep navigating in some ways through some of the applications for example this is a PDF and I can resize that PDF and do those those normal things. So it's not so much really quite a screenshot yet, but what's important to understand is that the minute we go and add a new slide, it freezes this. However, until it does freeze it, we can do things like minimize it and go to the other applications that might be open, yet I can still draw in them. So for example, I can say, oh, here's my desktop, and here's Chrome, and here's Skype, and once we get into the different pen tools, I can do all kinds of things like scribble all over. So if you're, say you're at a website that has a particularly interesting picture, or even you have a Word document with a poem on it, you could circle parts of the poem, and you're essentially just annotating whatever is on your screen. However, when we move on to the next item, when we make a new slide, for example here, and we'll make just a new white slide, what happens, and we'll switch back into the application, what happens is now the previous slide, is that annotation that we last had. So whenever you make a new slide, it saves the last annotation you had. So the annotation is useful in a live classroom environment just for showing stuff on the page, but it also records that last item you did. It takes a little bit of practice, but it'll come in time.